The present clinical situation describes a young patient who was referred to the clinic with a missing central incisor 21 and an implant being placed in the respective site. The patient is an Afro-American male who does not smoke and drinks occasionally. Following a trauma on 231, an implant was placed and the patient referred for an implant bone reconstruction. Upon clinical examination, severe horizontal and vertical contour deficiencies are present and a decision was made to perform a soft tissue grafting procedure. The risk profile illustrates that the patient is healthy, he has some high aesthetic requirements, he has a medium high smilan and a medium or medium scalloped gingival biotype. Looking at the teeth, they are rectangular and we do not have an infection at the implant site. Also the bone height at the adjacent tooth site ranges between 5.5 and 6.5 mm from the contact point, which is of medium risk. The restorative states of the adjacent teeth, they're both intact and looking at the width of the tooth gap, we have a distance of about seven millimeter. The soft tissue anatomy is currently intact, but we do have a horizontal and vertical defect. As a first step to perform the soft tissue grafting procedure, a split thickness flap is prepared crestally on top of the implant, but also on the buccal side. During the preparation of the split thickness flap, we can see, and also due to the releasing incision in the periosteum, we are able to advance the flap more coronally. Subsequently, the fibro guide is shaped to match the desired defect site, and thereafter, the fibro guide is being sutured using horizontal mattress suture towards the palatal aspect. The entire matrix is subsequently placed on the buccal side, inserting it into the pouch. Following the placement, the initial suturing with a horizontal mattress suture towards the palatal aspect, primary wound closure is obtained. Two months later, we can see a clinical view having performed a bubble connection. The subsequent step include then to use a provision of the reconstruction fabricated by a dental technician. And by using this provision of the reconstruction, we can add some flowable composite and we can shape the emergence profile. Here we can already see the blanching of the tissues due to the pressure of the provision of the reconstruction. Following a certain healing phase, usually between two and three months, we can see the final emergence profile that was established with the provision of reconstruction. Finally, we take a final impression and we can insert a final implant point single tooth reconstruction made with a zirconia abutment and directly veneered ceramics. The final view one year after the insertion of the final reconstruction shows very pleasing aesthetic outcomes, all the patient is happy and the parent tissues are healthy. No bleeding on probing can be observed. The current clinical case demonstrates a clinical benefit in terms of aesthetics, applying a collagen matrix to augment the soft tissues following implant placement. The use of a soft tissue substitute to reduce the treatment time and resulted in a decreased patient morbidity as well as an excellent clinical and aesthetic outcome.